All right, now in our, my previous two videos, we've been looking at the potential inside of a sphere, a solid sphere, that's a non-conducting sphere, and there's a uniform charge distribution. So in our last video, we described the VOS or the voltage inside at any radius R, and like say if we are at this Gaussian surface here, is Q over four pi epsilon naught R, three halves minus R squared over two R squared. Now let's test this idea at a different places. So this is the potential at this location here. Okay, what if we're in the actual center of the sphere? Okay, let's say we're right there in the center of the sphere, right there. Okay, and we're trying to figure out its actual uh, potential there. Okay, in that case, little r would equal zero. So let's go ahead and put that in there. So if little r here, is equal to zero, then this whole term here, okay, becomes zero. So then our voltage in the center then is gonna equal, well, we'll have a three halves, and we'll multiply that by Q over four pi epsilon naught R. So we see that the potential inside of a non-conducting solid sphere of uniform charge density does have a potential there. It's not equal to zero. It's equal to three halves Q over four pi epsilon naught R. Now, what if we're at the surface right here and that'll be really at R. So what that means then is I'm gonna plug R in this location here, which then becomes R squared. So let's take a look at that here then. My potential there at R is going to equal Q over 4 pi epsilon naught R multiplied by 3 halves minus, now of course I'm going to be R squared over R squared, okay? So uh, that becomes 1, right? So Or 1 half rather. So that becomes 1 half. But when we subtract these two, this simply becomes 1. So now V sub R is just equal Q over four pi epsilon naught R, which uh, we're not surprised at all because all of the charge looks like it's gonna come from the center. This is just the usual equation just for potential. Okay, now of course, if I'm a distance here, R away, now my Gaussian surface of course is out here, Okay, so the voltage there, we go V sub little r, but now r is greater than the radius of the sphere. That's just going to equal uh, Q over 4 pi epsilon naught little r. Because now we're outside the sphere. So we see the validity of this equation. We can easily conceptualize, okay, what the meaning of this equation actually is.